WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Monday morning. Shot shortened holiday week, four trading days closed on Friday for July 4th. Right now, we have markets in the green, NASDAQ actually in the red, NASDAQ negative by 16 points, trading at 98.48. NASDAQ futures, you get the S&P positive by 7, trading at 3,014. Dow futures positive by 126, trading at 25,076. Dow futures getting a lift from Boeing, especially today. Boeing going to begin three days of testing for their 737 MAX as they look to get out of the pain from that problem that they've faced. Start things off with the S&Ps. Quite a day on Friday. We trade south end the week at about just over 3,000. Open the futures last night, 29.83. We're about 20 points above that level right now, but a little bit of a sell-off in the last hour. We were as high as 3,026. We're currently trading 3,014 on the S&Ps. Crude contract up 37 cents, just catching a little bit of a bid since about 4 a.m., trading from 37.60 up to around 39. Gold contract flat at 1780 quite a day for gold on friday quite a week for gold last week 1796 the high silver continuing its volatility at 1804 and notes and bonds pretty muted action right now the 10-year minus three ticks at 139.04 the 30-year minus 10 ticks at 178.25 and we're sitting with a 10-year yield of 0.653 We'll start things off. We'll jump over to the VIX this morning, 34.91 as we start the four-day trading week. And as I mentioned, Boeing. So Boeing catching a lift. Check out that acceleration from 170 to almost 185. We're trading at 179.50 right now. Boeing going to start testing the 737 MAX, three days of flights as they test their plane and hopefully get it back in the air. But nonetheless, folks, airlines, Boeing, MAX paying for those companies recently as COVID persists. With that in mind, a couple headlines. Secretary of Health and Human Services out there over the weekend pleading the window is closing to halt the coronavirus spike. We've got the tools to do this, he said, but the window is closing. We have to act and people as in individuals have to act responsibly. We need to social distance. We need to wear our face coverings where we can't social distance, particularly in these hot zones. And folks, you talk about a hot zone. We got quite a hot zone going on in Florida. Where's my chart? Where is it? I'll get it up. It's a tough one, folks. There it is. There's the acceleration, folks. We're dealing with big numbers across the country, and there's your curve. So stay safe. Wear those masks. And you know what else you got to do? Listen to Larry Pesvento. Know what's going on in the market. Coming up next. We'll be right back.